Hello guys, Lifehackster here and today I'll show you the best accessory for your Blink Outdoor 4 and that is the floodlight mount. You can purchase this with the Blink Outdoor 4 kit which is the one that I got or just the mount accessory itself. This is the same floodlight mount accessory like on their older Blink Outdoor 3. Same specs. But the problem is the Blink Outdoor 3's video quality just sucks at night so it didn't really help. This floodlight though, together with the Blink Outdoor 4, is way better. This new one also has the USB Type-C plug compared to the older micro USB. Also, there's something that I noticed about the Blink Outdoor 4, which is both a good and a bad thing compared to the Outdoor 3. And I'll tell you later in this video, so keep on watching. Inside the box, you will get the floodlight mount accessory itself, which is a bit heavy because of the four D-cell batteries, which are included. Yes, this uses four D-cell batteries. I wish it has a rechargeable battery, but just like the Blink Outdoor cameras, it uses disposable batteries. So it has two LED panels, max of 700 lumens bright, and this is a white light. And it's actually pretty bright for 700 lumens. It lights up my backyard. And just for comparison, this is my Ring's floodlight battery, 600 lumens bright, yellow light, and compare this to the Blink's 700 lumens. Big difference. He has this mounting bracket, push the tab and slide to the right to take it off. You can open up the battery compartment, turn to unlock, and you can push these two tabs to see the batteries. 4 D-cell batteries. By the way, just like on my Ring battery floodlight, because the design and the batteries are the same, it can last a year and a half to two years before the batteries need to be replaced. But this will still depend on your use. And as to the cable, this is a USB Type-C to connect on the port on the back of your Blink Outdoor 4. And because I bought the kit, on the bottom box is the Blink Outdoor 4 and the Sync Module 2. But this metal piece is also for the floodlight and I'll show you how to use it later on. Now I'm going to use my already set up Blink Outdoor 4 and for my full review of this camera, its setup and settings, I will link it down below. I'll power up the floodlight mount by taking off the plastic piece from the batteries. And I'll plug in the Blink Outdoor 4 by removing the rubber plug from the back and you will see a USB-C port. And this is where you're going to plug in the floodlight. Make sure it is plugged in all the way. Push the camera to the mount and you will see here that the floodlight was automatically found and added to the Blink app. And you do need to put some pressure to seat the camera to the mount. As you can see here in the app, you now have the floodlight buttons. Floodlights on and floodlights off. In the settings, you will now see an option for the floodlight. You will see the battery level and brightness slider. Motion activation, on or off. You can set a time how long the floodlights will turn on after it gets activated from 15 seconds to 5 minutes. You can also adjust how bright it is outside before the lights will activate, which I'll keep to 1. That's it, let's install this. Screw in the mounting bracket to a wall using the 3 included screws. By the way, this is a wall mount only and slide in the floodlight from right to left until it clicks in place. Another option which you don't need to screw anything and if you have sidings, then you can use this metal piece, slide this part into your siding, which by the way, I have hardy board sidings. And with the mounting bracket on, slide in the floodlight aligning the two tabs to the square notches on the metal piece. The weight of the floodlight will hold it to your siding pretty securely. Just take note, this can be easily removed, so try to install this at the highest part of your siding wall. Well, time to test this out. So this is the video quality of the Blink 4 at night, and this with its floodlights on at 700 lumens bright, and this one looks like at 10 feet. 15, 20, 25, 30. Video quality at night with the floodlights on is definitely better than just the infrared night vision. Turn on Blink Outdoor 4 light. Okay. Turn off Blink Outdoor 4 light. Okay. Some things to note, the floodlight depends on the camera's detection. So if you disarm your Blink 4 or turn off motion detection, the floodlight will also not work. You can manually turn on and off the floodlight in the app without opening up the camera's live view. All right, now for the thing that I noticed about the Blink Outdoor 4 compared to the Outdoor 3, 
which can be a good or bad thing. Its detection range is limited to 20 to 25 feet, and this with the motion sensitivity cranked up to 9, which is the highest. The Blink Outdoor 3 can detect at 30 feet, but only when the sensitivity is also at level 9. But in actual use, you will not set it in the highest sensitivity because you will get a lot of false motion alerts. I usually set this to level 7 which will minimize, not totally eliminate the false alerts, but its detection range goes down to only around 15 to 20 feet. Now the good thing that I noticed on the Blink Outdoor 4, even when the sensitivity is set to 9 and person detection is off, and I actually removed it from my subscription just to check it, and I haven't had any false motion alerts. This means you really don't need the person detection feature, which you need to be subscribed to have this option anyways. And this with the detection range of 20 to 25 feet. So in actual use, you will get little to no false alerts on the Blink 4 compared to the Blink Outdoor 3. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.